It seems like there's an outbreak of some sort at the zoo. Just when the vet and the assistant are at a loss, one of the monkeys starts convulsing uncontrollably. To prevent it from running out and infecting other animals, the vet tells the security to quickly seal off the laboratory. But the next moment, the monkey flatlines. Ignoring the assistant's protests, the vet wastes no time and administers a shot of adrenaline to try to revive the monkey. However, as soon as it's administered, the monkey in the cage also starts getting agitated. Could this virus be airborne? Before they can make sense of the situation, they suddenly hear terrifying growls behind them. The dead monkey has somehow risen again, transformed into a grotesque zombie monkey, and then disappears from their sight. As they frantically search, the monkey leaps onto a cabinet, and with a powerful kick, turns the security guard into a pancake. The female assistant, terrified, tries to flee the lab in a panic, but the vet wants to capture the monkey for research. Just then, the mutated monkey jumps directly onto the assistant's head, gouging out both of her eyeballs. At this moment, the vet finally realizes the gravity of the situation and hits the alarm button in the nick of time before being attacked. Upon receiving the alert, the zoo's security personnel quickly rush to the vet's location. When they arrive at the lab's entrance, they are startled by a pair of blood-stained hands. Upon closer inspection, they realize it's the vet. But as the security guard prepares to open the door to rescue them, the vet inside firmly blocks the door, as if preventing them from entering. However, the group doesn't understand the vet's intentions and forcefully breaks down the door. What they see shocks them to the core. The walls are covered in terrifying bloody handprints, and the monkeys from the cages have escaped. Lizzie steps forward to check on the vet, but the vet keeps repeating one phrase through gritted teeth. Quick, close the door. Confused, the group watches as the vet struggles to stand, emitting agonizing screams from their mouth. To their horror, they realize that a monkey has emerged from the vet's body and other hidden monkeys begin to appear, launching attacks on the group. With security personnel being overwhelmed one after another, the remaining three are forced to flee the laboratory. But a monkey blocks the door, and another one seizes the opportunity to attack Rex, who is already on the ground. Seeing this, Gage quickly removes his suit jacket and uses it to cover the monkey, then smashes it against the wall. However, the remaining monkey escapes from the laboratory. The trio realizes that the virus carried by the monkeys could potentially infect other animals. They immediately contact Ellen, the person in charge of the zoo, and inform her of the situation. To prevent the virus from spreading further, Ellen orders a lockdown of the entire zoo. Fortunately, the zoo is not yet open to the public, and there are only a few interns present. After locating the monkeys, the three security guards quickly drive to the scene. Meanwhile, the administrators and students, alerted by the alarm, see the monkeys dangerously close. Urging everyone to flee, the administrator is unfortunately knocked down by the attacking monkeys. As the three students seek refuge in a thatched hut, they come under attack by other animals. It becomes evident that the virus can be transmitted through the air. Climbing up trees, they hope for safety, but the girl senses something approaching. It turns out to be two mutated giraffes. Terrified, the girl wets herself, and the two boys are instantly snatched away by the giraffes. When the security guards arrive, they find the two men already dismembered. They open fire, swiftly taking down one giraffe, but the other grabs the girl and hoists her up. Fortunately, Lizzie manages to shoot the giraffe in the head, rescuing the girl just in time. Just as they were about to leave, the giraffe revived again. Gage got bitten on the arm while trying to save the girl, and Lizzie quickly shot the giraffe dead once more. But as they were bandaging Gage's wound, the girl took advantage and drove off with their car. Encountering such ingratitude was like the worst luck imaginable. The worst part was that their heavy weapons and walkie-talkies were in the car. Meanwhile, the girl arrived at the gate, unaware that it had been sealed shut. Desperate, she tried to call for help from Ellen through the surveillance cameras, asking her to open the gate. However, Ellen saw something approaching the girl and urged her to drive away immediately. But the girl insisted on climbing out of the gate, unaware of something lurking behind her. It turned out to be a mutated lion, and the girl was dragged away helplessly. On the surveillance feed, Ellen was still in shock when she noticed a zombie animal approaching. She turned around only to find her daughter missing. Unbeknownst to her, her daughter had ventured into the toy room. There, she spotted a lifelike koala toy. Just as she moved closer to inspect it, the koala suddenly came to life. Hearing the noise, Ellen hurried into the toy room. However, in her panic, she kept entering the wrong code multiple times. When she finally managed to open the door, she was astonished to find that her daughter was more than capable of defending herself. 
Armed with a baseball bat, she had managed to fend off the zombie koala. It's safe to say the little girl was quite the force to be reckoned with. As the trio of security guards continued on their path, they were suddenly ambushed by a horde of zombie monkeys. Lizzie quickly retaliated with gunfire, but their ammunition ran out before making much of an impact. Just as the three of them were despairing, several flare shots streaked across the sky. It turned out to be Daxton and AJ coming to their rescue. The group hastily took refuge in the security room, strategizing their next move. However, Daxton suddenly realized the potential danger if the gorillas were infected. Coincidentally, several mutated animals were closing in on the gorilla territory. Despite protests from the others, Daxton insisted on investigating. Upon entering the area, he indeed discovered that the gorillas had been infected by the virus. Before he could react, he was struck by a punch and sent flying back into the security room. Seeing the dire situation, the others scrambled to hide, helplessly witnessing Daxton being brutally attacked and killed by the gorilla. The gorilla showed no intention of leaving and began searching the room for the remaining survivors. To buy time for their escape, Rex decided to confront the gorilla head-on. But in the next moment, the gorilla spotted Gage and AJ. In a critical moment, Rex leaped forward, plunging his large knife into the gorilla's back. This distraction allowed Gage and AJ to break free. Rex urged them to leave immediately, knowing he couldn't hold out much longer. Just as the trio departed, the gorilla threw Rex aside and lunged at him, crushing his skull with brute force. With the gorilla in hot pursuit, the three swiftly climbed onto a foam mountain and pushed a large boulder down, knocking out the gorilla. As they were fleeing, they encountered the girl who had been driving away earlier. Although she hadn't been eaten by the zombie lion, she was barely clinging to life. Before long, she breathed her last breath, leaving no time for sorrow. Lizzie quickly contacted Ellen via the walkie-talkie. With the entire zoo compromised, Ellen urged them to leave immediately and assured she would open the gate for them. However, at that moment, Ellen spotted several red dots rapidly closing in on them. Before she could warn them to escape, it was too late, for hungry lions had already surrounded them. Fortunately, the girl's body attracted two of the lions, giving the others a chance to escape by car. As the remaining lion caught up, Gage and Lizzie covered the rear. Unexpectedly, one lion leaped onto the car. Lizzie's shot didn't phase it, but the shotgun did the trick, knocking the lion off. Their relief was short-lived as AJ accidentally flipped the car. All three were thrown out, but thankfully suffered no serious injuries. They had no choice but to continue fleeing, planning to rendezvous with Ellen downhill via a zip line. However, since the zip line was unfinished, they had to rely on hand over hand sliding on the pulley. Yet, halfway down, Lizzie and AJ's cables started to fray. At the last moment, Lizzie grabbed Gage, narrowly escaping, while AJ tragically fell to his death. After safely arriving, quickly followed Ellen, who had been waiting for them, into the building. Despite the screen being filled with red dots, Ellen didn't intend to flee. Instead, she led the remaining few to the basement, loaded all flammable materials onto a car, and drove to the aviary park. The consequences would be dire if the infected birds broke free from their cages. However, upon entering the aviary, Lizzie and Gage discovered that the caretaker inside had already succumbed, while Ellen, waiting outside, saw through the screens that the aviary was under attack. It turned out that the infected zombie birds were attempting to escape. Seeing this, Ellen quickly got out of the car and poured a bucket of flammable liquid on the ground, preparing to use fire to stop the zombie birds from escaping. As the flames roared to life, Gage and Lizzie managed to escape from the aviary. However, just as they were about to drive away, they realized that the ordeal was far from over. The zombie birds were about to break through the window. Lizzie came up with a plan and instructed Ellen to drive the car filled with flammable material to the entrance of the aviary, then she aimed and shot an arrow at the car. After a loud explosion, all the birds were destroyed. But just as they were about to leave, they discovered that the zombie gorilla was still alive. Facing these terrifying creatures, they had no choice but to run for their lives. They were chased all the way to the gate, where Gage and Lizzie, who were covering from behind, were swiftly killed by the pursuing gorilla. Even Ellen was knocked down by a single blow. Seeing her daughter in danger, Ellen pulled the trigger without hesitation. But as they looked at the fallen gorilla, they couldn't find any joy in it because, after spending so much time together, they had developed a deep bond with the gorilla. Before long, the rescue helicopter finally arrived, and the remaining four people boarded it to escape from the zoo. However, they didn't know that the crisis was far from over.